So, Colorado next. That's correct, 47. ICA Intel has just confirmed the exact coordinates of the US-bound signal from Nabazov's dead man's trigger. It's remote. Sounds perfect. Quite. We've borrowed an NSA satellite, and so I'm looking at the location now. It appears to be some kind of paramilitary compound, but intel is limited. However, we do have a positive ID on another of Nabazov's disciples, a medical doctor with a live sample of the Nabazov virus. Small place for a dispersal. Maybe just a test. Or an act of desperation. We cannot allow this to spread, 47. I'm uploading a full briefing to your laptop. Review as soon as you can. All right, 47. Your primary target is medical doctor and radical cultist Bradley Payne. Intel confirms that Payne has already infected a number of unsuspecting militia operatives with the Nabazov virus. Initial examination of the virus show it to be incredibly infectious and utterly lethal. Fortunately, there is no indication that the virus has spread beyond the compound. However, in order to prevent any contagion, pain must be eliminated, along with any infected mercenaries. To remove the risk of exposure to the virus, we're recommending you go long-range for this one. I will be providing intel upon touchdown, identifying targets for you once you've set up your sniper nest. Good luck, 47. Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to the Sonic Assassin walkthrough for the Vector which is a part of the Patient Zero campaign. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and for this one we're also going to be covering the Unsafe Work Environment Challenge which requires you to assassinate all the targets with accident kills. So, for this one it's, it's kind of a little bit tricky because the targets are random every single time so it's going to be a little bit difficult to try and get a, uh, you know, a proper guide out there for you guys. I can only show you basically how to do it um, I can't tell you exactly what to do because, like I said, the targets are random each time, so you're just going to have to learn uh, who each person is going to be just by through playing it, and unfortunately. I can only guide you um, in certain manners, really. So one thing I will advise the first off in Colorado is leave the main target alone. Uh, he does wander around Colorado a little bit, and occasionally he can talk to one of the infected patients. Now, whoever he talks to is going to be the infected patient, so you will know for a fact that that person's infected and you need to take him out as well. Now, uh, I can only advise you on some bits like this bit, for example, uh, she, Diana does say that this person here suffers from paranoia, and this person here is the only person in the area that suffers from paranoia, so as soon as she says that, you know for a fact that 100% that is him. Uh, the next person she mentions uh, someone in the uh, the gun area, and uh, as I zoomed into this this area here, I noticed that the uh, the main target Bradley Payne was actually talking to someone. That's how I knew I didn't need any more intel from Diana. I knew for a fact that this is going to be our target. So uh, I used an accident kill that was just it was just there waiting for us. Conveniently, you just want to shoot the barrel there and shoot the uh, fuel that leaks on the floor. And you can take care of two birds with one stone. Obviously, this is not going to obviously going to happen for you every single time. It's going to be random. The targets are random each time. Um, but this is this. I'm just going to show you how I did it through Silent Assassin. So that's three people down now. So we have two more remaining, and she's going to give us the in intel on the final two infected patients. She said the target is near the greenhouse, so it could be a number of, it could be four different people. It could be this guy here on the laptop, who it turns out to be. It could be the guy on the left. So I'm shooting the barrel just in case, and he says he enjoys gardening. And I know that guard enjoys gardening as well, but I know, I know for a fact that um, there's only two people that go on a laptop, and that's the next thing she's about to say. So, uh, yeah, that's why I shot the fuel there, set him on fire, and that's the... Uh, the penultimate target down so we have one more left and you can take him out any way you want to as long as it's an accident kill of course if you want to get that challenge done and our final target is going to be in the explosives area and we actually are going to use an explosion for this one so it could be about three, it could be three or four different people in each area that's why it said it's random every time it's not going to be the same for you guys as it is on my screen but uh, in, in some cases it could be but you just have to use your uh, awareness and use um, Diana's advice to a T. 
So initially I thought that was the person I was aiming at the fair there first until she said that he was assigned to the chemistry lab. So I thought it can't be that guy there then because he's walking away and that's not a chemistry lab there. So it must be that person there because he's the only guy that has a, a clipboard in that area. So initially I wanted to shoot that bell to distract him but then I realised there was a gas canister there and I could take him out and that was the final target taken down. And once you exit the mission there we'll get the silent assassin rating as long with the uh, the environmental challenge, whatever it's called. Can't remember what it's called now. But yeah, that's how you basically do it. Like I said, it's going to be random each time. Unsafe work environment, and that's it. Um, like I said, it's going to be random targets every time. I can only guide you uh, in a certain way. But um, that's the best I could do in terms of this sort of guide. If you have any questions, leave, uh, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.